Oh, hello there. We're back in Jurassic Park Builder. Now, we got this guy to hatch. We got this guy to hatch. And, uh, what is this? What, what even is this? I don't even remember what this was. Oh, yeah. Our Pachyrhinosaurus. And it's our final one-star dinosaur in this entire park. Not in the... Uh, Arctic or glacier, I mean, or the aquatic, but the final one star or final dinosaur that didn't have any stars in the Jurassic. Finally managed to spit that out. Now, things like this guy, I could certainly try to level up. I have 115,000 meat that I've saved up over the course of the last few days. Um, but like I said before, I kind of want the T-Rex surprisingly to be like... The last one that I level up to max. I don't know if you guys heard a single word of that with the uh, the loud dinosaurs, but I said that the T-Rex should be the last one that I level up to max, simply because you know it's sort of the the grand pooba of this entire Jurassic world. And, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not getting into the whole debate, which is better, you know, Spinosaur versus T-Rex versus, like, Cardonosaur versus, you know, Carno versus Ceratosaur, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. In this game, in this world, T-Rex is king. And so I kind of want it to be the last. Um, Uteranus is also one of the biggest ones that I could get. As well as the Spinosaur, of course. Um, guys like the Cardonosaur are already maxed. All the way. So. Got some carnivores. There we go. So he gets like 39,000 per click already. Which is <laughs> absolutely insane. He's got a 75% bonus, of course. Which definitely helps. Uh, the coin amount. Um, but it takes, what? It takes, uh, 11,600 and some food per click. So, you can see that with my level at that, I can only click them a few times more. What is it, like four per level? I think it's four per level. One, two, three, four. So I could on only click it, like, maybe, let's say... 10, 11 times, that's only going to be maybe two more levels, he still wouldn't be max. So it's a lot of food that I have to save up for him. You know, in the meantime, it would be less costly to level up someone like this guy, um, who isn't quite half, but he's at 7,000 some, uh, for about the same level. In fact, I think they, they are the exact same level, so it would be a lot less to level this guy up to max if I wanted that. And of course, there's this little baby down here, and uh, I almost should be leveling him up. Um, however, if we go... Oh, let's collect some cards here, actually. I actually have forgotten to do this in the last few times I've logged into this game. Um, but if we go to the market and go to the dinosaurs, it gives us kind of a basic uh, interpretation of who came first. Um, although the Nezutoceratops didn't come before the trike, obviously. Um, we can kind of discern that trike, dilo, velociraptor, pteranodon, carna, carnator, uh, blah, 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 ceratosaurus. So if we look, all of those are leveled up up to the ceratosaurus, the dilo, trike, um, pteranodon. Yeah, there they are. They're all leveled up to the max, up to the ceratosaur. And we got the Pachycephalosaur, I think might be Max. There it is right there. Yeah, it's Max. Uh, then Baryonyx, Cardonosaur. So let's see, Baryonyx. There he is down here. And he's not leveled up at all. He's only two stars. And I skipped him and went to the uh, Cardonosaur, which has four stars. So this guy is going to be next. And the reason being, because it will be the cheapest to max out. It will be cheapest if we follow this list. Like, this will be cheaper than this, than this, than this, than this, than this. Or at least that's how it should go. 
Um, either way, this guy is going to be next. So let's just feed him, I guess, to level 30. He's ready to evolve now. And we do definitely have the ability to level him up. Now, if we do what we were doing before and just spend a few bucks, this, this will go really quick. It won't spend a lot of our money. I've never had it fail when I spend a buck, but it might happen. I think it's, it is a, still a random chance that it will fail if we spend a buck on it. But here we go. Wow, this is going fairly well. I think the less level or the earlier the dinosaur is in your park, like a trike or a baryonyx or dilo or whatever, I think they have a much higher chance of success, whereas like a T-Rex will have a, a much lower chance of success. So getting all those successes in a row is not possible for some of the higher level ones. There we go. So in total, we've spent about five bucks. Oh, see, my first fail on a spin. There we go. I'm almost willing to try again. Oh, it still failed. There we go. I'm not going to spend more than one buck. Per... There we go. So as I said, it had a, a much higher chance of success. That went pretty quickly, even with me spending about five bucks or so. Five or six bucks on uh, leveling it up. Um, to speed it up, of course, it would take another four. Um... And I'm almost willing to do that. Let's do that. Let's level him up. Well, he's got a wicked pattern to him now. And he's at max. So just like that, he's at max. We still actually have some meat in the bank. Um, but there he is. Baryonyx. Max level. You know, honestly, I wish that they would give them a little bit more of a sale. I know that they didn't really have that much of a sale, but they they still kind of did. In fact, um, a lot of people, when they found Spinosaur, were wondering if it was a type of Baryonyx. And I know that some people still might think that, or vice versa, that the Baryonyx might actually be some kind of Spinosaur. Either way, I think it should have a little bit more of a back ridge. Just, just my opinion. Um, but it still does have one, and it does look good. Very uh, weird cyan-colored dots with the red and the purple. Sort of similar in color, actually, to this guy over here. But looking pretty good. So another max-level dinosaur um, generating us about uh, 3,200 per hour. So, that's done. That was good. Great. What would be next in the list so next in the list would be the ankylosaur because we got this guy maxed ankylosaur then parasaur then brontosaur so ankylosaur is maxed parasaur is maxed brontosaur is almost maxed so this would be our next one and he just needs to be fed I may not have enough though let's try let's go oh boy look at it he did away yeah, he went up by two levels, so definitely in need of more plant in order to feed this guy. Um, but that'll be next to max, I think, if we go through that order. Actually got 25,000 more food right there, but I'm not going to waste it. It's, there's no point to it, honestly. There's no point. Let's just go to the aquatic and take care of that now. Now that we've got our max level Baryonyx, might as well see what's chilling in the aquatic. Collect from all the buildings. Collect from those. And then from the creatures. From the buildings. The aquatic park is still like one of my most disorganized parks. They're kind of all just... Whoops! There it is. I just clicked on it. The Shonosaurus. Had no teeth inside. Really? Open wide. You eat fish though, right? Nom, 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 nom. So there he goes. A 
place that down in the park, and it is humongous. Okay, so I think I've collected from all of them. Collect from this. More shrimp and fish. There we go. So nothing much new here except that we do have this guy, and this is the baby form of it. Like, look at how big it's gonna be. It's just gonna be massive. Let's level it up to at least an adult, which is level five, I believe. So here we go. Boom. It is huge. Look at how big it is compared to most other things here. Just about, well, it's bigger than this guy, I think. I think it's actually bigger than the Colossal Squid, even. Is this is a Tylosaur, yeah. I think it might be the biggest thing here. I think it's bigger than the Megalodon. This might be the biggest one in the entire aquatic park right here. This guy right here. What? Update? Really? What, did, what updated? Move a sea creature. Was there one to click to collect from the Shonasaur? This one. Collect from a Shonasaur three times. Okay. That's what I did, I guess. So, man, huge though! Biggest one in the entire aquatic park, so that's cool. Next up, Glacier Park. We're warping through this episode, it's going so fast. Phosphorocus limited offer. Do I have one of those? Oh, I have terror birds. Oh, they're Gastornis. I don't have a Phosphorocus. Can I buy it? Or is it a rare that we have to find? I assume it's a rare that we have to... Oh, there it is. Yeah, we have to find it. Phosphorocus. The biggest terror bird, I believe. Bigger than the Titanus. And of course, terror birds thought to be birds of prey. There is evidence that some of them, if not all of them, were actually um, herbivores or or like plant not not plant eaters, but like I guess like they'd eat fruit. Or something like that. But they found evidence that they weren't meat eaters, or at least one of them wasn't. So it questions whether they all were or not. Um, whether they were birds of prey or not. Interestingly. But uh, I don't know that much technical details about it, so I won't go on about it. But I haven't done the research, so I don't really know what to say. I'm just saying that as a point of fact, that there are terror birds out there that didn't eat any meat at all and so it questions whether any of them did but should we go actually should we go should we try to get that rare we've got all the bucks in the world to do it I would love to have one so let's try it again fortunately just the low level one there and it'll be like right here oh no it wasn't so let's buy that let's it up open 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 I haven't done this in a long time. This is the strategy here. Click. Open, open, open. Nope. Next. Click. Bye. Open, open, open. Of course, don't do this unless you have a lot of bucks like I do. Um, either by buying the bucks or, like, in my case, I was gifted them. I think it was mostly because I do videos for Jurassic Park Builder and I was like, um, I can't do videos if your game is broken. And they were like, well, okay, just have like 5,000 bucks. And uh, <laughs> surprisingly, that, that was perfectly fine for me. We started over, I think, twice in the course of this entire series. My god, where is it? Better be on this spin. I haven't been paying attention to how much we've been spending here. Come on, Phosphorox. Come on, Phosphorox. 
Phosphorocos. Where is it? It's gotta be here. Why? Why? Why is it so difficult to find? Where is it? Spending a lot of bucks on this little guy. This is one of the worst that I've had. Sometimes you find them right away. I've even had it where I found it in like the first couple spins. But this is like, now I'm spending and it's just giving me coins and meat. Like I don't care about coins. I get more coins than that for my T-Rex. Why do I need spend like 14 bucks on it? Or 13, I guess. Why? Why? Spending 14 bucks on meat and grass and coins. And meanwhile, my level goes way down. The level of bucks goes way down. But this is what I want to spend the bucks on. Like, if I had to spend them on anything, it would be on trying for a Phosphoraco. Because... That's just where you should be spending them on. Why would I spend all my bucks on speeding things up? Although that is technically what I'm doing right now. But I mean, like, I don't care about speeding up the, you know, evolution of a creature. Well, except that we did that in the first part in the Jurassic. Okay, you know what I mean, though. I don't want to spend my bucks on frivolous things. I want to spend them on, like, getting the rare creatures... Why? We're gonna drop below. We're gonna drop below two thousand coin uh, bucks here for the first time in ages. Come on! I'm starting to think: Is there like a problem with the game? Is there like some kind of an issue here? Is there like some kind of a problem where the they say like, oh, it's available in the next three days and then they only release it to people like on the very last day? We're not finding it here. I, I want to go until I'm at about 2,000 and I'm just going to call it quits, unfortunately. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to waste all my bucks. Okay. You can afford to do it like one more time. So unless it happens on this very last time here, we're out of luck. And we are out of luck. That's where I'm gonna call it. We spent hundreds of bucks there. I'm not gonna settle for that, but let's at least get a free one again. Ah. Oh. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That guy is hard to find. I don't know if there's a glitch there or what, but uh, they certainly didn't make it easy on me there. Either way, I think that's where we're going to end the episode. Nothing new, unfortunately, in the Glacier Park, unfortunately. Because of that, the fact that we couldn't find the uh, Phosphorocos there. It's too bad. I wanted you. I wanted it. Three days left, it says. I don't know. Maybe I'll try off camera. I, d I really don't know. Either way, that's where we're going to end it. Like this video, comment below, do all those other awesome things that people do. And we'll be seeing you next time in Jurassic Park Builder. Bye-bye.